Hello, I'm Jack Ferry and welcome to Least Haunted, the live after show. On today's show, we are joined by directors Joe Payne and Jack Bryant, but we'll be talking to them a bit later. We also have an exclusive interview with the man himself, Deja Vu. Ooh, very interesting. And to top it all off, we have an exclusive online interview with the amazing art director and boom operator, Natalie Wadhast. Very, very interesting indeed. But before all of that excitement, a quick word from our sponsors, Devil's Lettuce Perfume. Want a perfume that makes you feel like a goddess? Well, you've come to the wrong bloody advert. <sighs> Bonkers. I am Craig Bloody Geezer, and I am the creator of Devil's Lettuce. And this is the manliest oil the toilet around. And it comes in three beautiful scents. Bea. Gammon. And what comes out your mother? Piss. We asked the public for their opinions on Devil's Lettuce. And we're going to be trying some Devil's Lettuce piss. Can I spray it on you if that's fine? Yeah, sure. Tell us what you think. Oh, it's like a aqua or something like that. Would you recommend it to people? Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's definitely. You heard it here first, guys. Thank you. Guten Tag, Guten Tag. We're here with Devil's Lettuce, piss flavoured. Would you like to try it, sir? I'll be delighted. Okay, thank you very much. Tell us what you think. <laughs> Never happened that before. Goodness Christ. Review? I don't want any more, thank you. All right. Um, that was piss flavoured devil's lettuce for you guys. Back to the business. Here with Danny. And we're going to be testing out some devil's lettuce piss. Can I spray it on you, sir? Go on then. Tell us what you think. Horrible. Would you like to try my new perfume? Pardon? Okay, no worries. Would you let your boyfriend wear that? Mmm, no. It smells all right. Would you let your boyfriend wear this? Well, I'm a lesbian, so um, not really. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm here with Lord Ashcroft. And we are gonna try some devil's lettuce piss. Go on, tell me how you, tell me how it smells. Beautiful. You heard it here first, guys. Beautiful. Guten Tag, Guten Tag. Today we're gonna be trying some devil's lettuce with the amazing Claudia and Lisa. Tell us what you think, guys. <gasps> Go on. What is it? What does it smell like, guys? Amazing. Um. Yeah. Amazing. Let me smell. You heard it, it here first, guys. It's, oh wow! It smells menu. No one let me smell it. <laughs> it smells like men. I would buy. <laughs> I would buy. Thank you very much. So today we are here with Jake. And Jake, do you like Devil's Lettuce? Yes, I love it. I oh, know. I meant the fragrance, mate. <laughs> but anyway, all right. <laughs> For a limited time only, if you buy one, you get two free. What a bargain. If you want to smell like an absolute geezer, like me, head down to B&Q and buy one. It's only a tenner. Bosh. Thank you, Craig. Now, on with the show. Right now, I'm joined by both of the wonderfully talented directors of Least Haunted. Please welcome Joe Payne and Jack Brian! Let's go! Oh, no. Yeah! Okay, oh, yeah! okay, sell down, please. Sell so down. Much. Shut the fuck up! Sorry. So, how are you guys? Good. Yeah. Not good. bad. Not bad. So, what was it like seeing the white lady? It was terrifying, I tell you. As a director on the show, seeing how scared Dave Jarvu and Graham Oost were, along with Kim Reaper, it was absolutely terrifying. Yeah, now on to the VT. It's getting violent. Pass me the book. I can't find it. Show yourself. Why are you here? What do you want? Show yourself. What's she saying? I don't know, let me unscramble it.
I can see that was terrifying. So, exactly. what were your emotions going through your mind in that moment? What were you thinking, you two? Like I said before, it was just absolutely terrifying, especially seeing my beloved Dave Jarvu's face. He looked terrified, horrified at what he was seeing. The white lady, something came up. I was scared about Speaking it. of deja vu, you were lucky enough to get an exclusive interview with him, weren't you? I, I was, yes, personally I was. A, a, yeah, lovely, lovely man to talk to. I even got his phone number at the end of it. Well, he's, he's what was it like working with such an icon like Dave Javu? It was, it was actually really nice getting to have a little sit down with him, learning about all his inspirations. Is he good looking? He is very good looking. Oh. Have you got any future projects lined up with Mr. Javu? Any we can know about? Uh, well, we filmed uh, Sex Lives of Convicted Celebrities recently. Well, here it is, everyone the exclusive interview with Deja Vu. Hello, Least Haunted Live. I'm Jack Ryan. Today, I'm joined with a very special guest, Mr. Dave Jarvu. Hello, thank you for having me. So, um, Dave, can I call you that? You can call me whatever you want. Ooh, okay. Um, uh, well, Dave, we've got a, a few questions from the audience today. Oh. Wow, perfect. I'll try my best to answer. Yes, well, well, Dave, the first question is from Victor in Peterborough. What was your favourite moment working on the most recent episode of Least Haunted? Good, good question, Victor. I think I'd have to say uh, just getting to work with Graham Oast. He's just a lovely man and you always know what he's on about. Yeah, he's a real inspiration to me and I'm sure many others. Speaking of inspirations, uh, second question here from Pablo Franchi in, uh, from Fetford. Who are your biggest TV presenting inspirations? Very good question again. Um, in my house, I have a little cabinet with frames of all my inspirations. To name but a few, I have Alison Hammond, Andy Peters, uh, Derek Acora, Ant, Deck, Dick, Dom. Stephen Mulhern, Peter Kay, Sam, Mark and Rylan. Whoa, that is a long list. What can I say? They're all just very inspirational people. Agreed, agreed. Uh, the third question here is from a Mr. Craig Geezer from Devil's Lettuce. He says, hello mate, you are well known for smelling and looking really nice. What perfume and moisturiser do you use? Well, funny you say that. I actually know Craig, and the perfume I use is the beer-scented Devil's Lettuce. Oh, now that is quite cool. For my moisturiser, <coughs> my moisturiser, I use the one-of-a-kind uh, Devil's Lettuce Heads and Shoulders and Knees and Toes uh, body lotion. It's very, very soothing. Well, that is very impressive. You can definitely tell, you do look very handsome, Mr. Dave Javu. Stop it, you. Moving on, Geraldine from Northern Ireland asks, Arr, what upcoming projects are you working on? Well, I've got quite an interesting one coming out in the next couple of months. It's the over 70s naked attraction. That was a bit of a wild one. Yes, I imagine it would be. Sadly, moving on to the last question now. Um, Gordon Frogspawn from the local area asks, who is the one person you would want to co-present a show or interview the most? Amazing question, Gordon. Uh, there's only really one answer to that, and that is the wonderful Alison Hammond. Amazing choice, Dave. Sadly, that's the end of this interview. Thank you for answering the audience's questions. Thank you so much for having me. Back to you, Jack Ferry, in the studio. Wow, what an amazing interview. I know, right? Such a hot, sexy, beautiful man. It's so amazing hearing about his upcoming projects. He's so damn saucy. It was lovely speaking to you both. Thank I hope you. you all the best for your future projects, and I hope they go well. I can't wait for the next project. What an amazing interview. But don't worry, the fun and spookiness doesn't stop there. Join us after the break. We'll be interviewing art director Natalie Wardhurst. See you after the break. Are you tired of work? I'm in your
You could visit Ely, Fetford, or Peterborough. Yay! All known for their lovely bins. Wide array of DVDs. And chainsaws in public. Visit www.elyfetfordorpeterborough.com.co.uk.org to find out more. Welcome back to Least Haunted, the live after show. We are now joined by art director and boom operator Natalie Wadhurst. Sadly, Natalie couldn't be with, with us in the studio tonight, so she is joining us online. Hello, Natalie. Natalie. Natalie, can you hear me? I can't hear you, babes. Natalie! That's better. You're right. I'm good, thank you, Natalie. How are you? Yeah, babe, I'm doing great. I had my coffee, I'm feeling awake, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> yes, well, Natalie, what was, in the, what was it like working on set? I tell you what, babes, it was bloody scary. I saw a ghost. I'm telling you, I saw the white lady with my own two eyes. That sounds terrifying. As an art director and boom operator, did you think you'd see a ghost? Honestly, no. I thought all this ghost stuff was a load of fucking rubbish. Ghost? You know, like unicorns, pixies, and especially global warming. Okay. What was it like working as the art director on a show like Least Haunted? <laughs> Natalie, can you hear me? The ghost is bloody terrifying. I thought I was going to shit. Natalie! <laughs> I think we've got some technical difficulties. I've got one last question for you. Are there any other ghosts or urban legends we could see in the, on the next show? <laughs> what the hell was that? Are you okay, Natalie? It's <laughs> been Guys, what's going on? Is everything okay? It's been Eingespenge. Dutchesgespenge. Yeah, 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 yeah
Yes.